And that's how your grandfather and I met. That's a nice grandma. I remember when I was your age, my grandmother would tell me this story. It was passed down for generations. I still remember every detail about it. That's okay, we don't need any details. It was during the 1860 election and everyone in Harpers Ferry was in a buzz. Our family goes so far back and even then they lived in Harpers Ferry. Your great, 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 um, it doesn't matter. Anyway, she was 13 years old when this was happening. Presidential election fell on that year. Candidates were Breckenridge, Douglas, Bell, and Lincoln. Jenny, will you please help me set the table? Sure, Mom. So, I saw the candidate poster, and I was wondering, what's the difference between all of them? Well, I mean, some are for slavery, and some are against it. I'd go on, but you don't look all that interested. Oh, no, I'm interested. So, who are you going to vote for? Well, I'd like to see Douglas win, but I can't vote. Why can't you vote? Well, we're not too sure, but only white men can vote. What? Women couldn't vote? That's right. Women couldn't vote back in 1860. Women were not given the right until 1920. That was considered. So who's Daddy going to vote for? I'm not sure who your dad's going to vote for. He doesn't know much about the candidates. So you don't know who your dad is voting for? No, my mom does. She says she knows who she wants to vote for. I don't get it. My mom's just as much of a hard worker as my father, and she's just as smart. So I don't understand why she can't vote. I don't get it either. So, who's your dad going to vote for? Well, he says he's going to vote for Douglas, but I don't think he even wants to. He just says that he's going to vote for him. Well, why is he going to vote for him? Well, my mom says because his boss told everyone in the company that they had to vote for Douglas or they lose their job. Well, that hardly seems fair. Isn't that like cheating? Well, who's going to stop them? Wait, wait, wait. So how could the boss force the workers to vote for who they wanted? Things were different back then. Even Lincoln wasn't on the ballot in Harper's Ferry on election day. So you would think you could not vote for him. Still, some people would write Lincoln's name on the ballot and vote for him anyway. But that's later on in the story. What do you mean who's going to stop them? If everyone had that kind of attitude, we'd get nowhere. Well, I don't see anything wrong with that. All the boss is trying to do is get everyone to vote for Douglas as president. Nice of you to stick up for the guy who's pushing your dad around. You know what? It's none of your business anyway. At least he knows who he's going to vote for. In 1860, the town of Harpers Ferry gathered at the polling place to submit their Hello. votes. Another bell! Douglas! As a result of the election, tension was rising in the country and militias were beginning to form. It was dumb of us to get in a fight. I mean, about something so silly. Everybody's been acting a little weird lately, all fighting about the similar thing. Yeah, and who knows who'll win, but hopefully it'll be for the better. During the election of 1860, families and friends were split on who they wanted to vote for. In some cases, it did not matter because workers were forced to vote for who their boss wanted to win. In the end, Lincoln won the election. The country was torn, but only for a short while. Lincoln was a strong believer in doing whatever means necessary in order to keep the states together. Lincoln was a good president, and some say the best. Since then, voting has changed such as women are now allowed to vote, and no one is allowed to force you to vote for who they want to win. Also, voting is now closed ballot, so there is less pressure on the voter.